work with mothers. It depends on what, why they're coming, who they were referred by, or when they're coming. So um, I have a couple women who either are coming to the group or coming to see me individually who are pregnant, who have struggled with depression or anxiety in their lives, or have a trauma history, um, who are struggling anyway, and then the pregnancy is either just bringing up more things or there's concern about after the baby is born and either clinical depression or other clinical mental health issues happening as well as sort of attachment to the baby and that relationship carrying forward. Um, so then there's some women that come to me after they've had the babies, their babies and they're struggling with anxiety or depression or I have a couple of women who had very traumatic birthing experiences, and so they're processing those kinds of things. Um, there's so much amazing research happening now in neuroscience about um, different hormones, um, connection with the fetus, as well as the baby, affecting the mother, and in, the, in that relationship. And um, I'm just fascinated by all of that. And the art of therapy really is to take like that science stuff and then apply it to like the relationship of someone like sitting with me. Um, but I feel like so much of what I keep coming back to is about the relationship with ourselves as women as we make the transition to motherhood and then that relationship with our babies. Um, and the reciprocalness of it. And so many of the women that I work with ha have struggled in their relationships in their lives. And so there's like a lot of gaps or a lot of misunderstandings about their own ability to connect with people or they've had people telling them what they should be doing and so they can't kind of trust their instincts. So um, a lot of focus is given to like just observing the babies like in the motherhood group that I do just like see how exactly that wrist just moves when the baby is laying there you know can you really notice in this next five minutes every single movement you could possibly notice that your baby is doing and then at the same time stay connected to your own body and your own self and what comes up when you're watching are you afraid of something? Or are you watching someone else's baby and are you judging something? And what, you know, notice that in yourself. So, so there's a lot of mindfulness as part of it. Um, but my hope with that, my intention with that is to help build a relationship. That you can see this little baby as this cute chubby thing and that's wonderful and you just love it desperately. But also they're their own person. And so can you respect that and respect that you're your own person so that instead of saying, oh, my baby comes first, I haven't showered or eaten and gone to the bathroom in two days because my baby comes first, to see the reciprocalness of it and that mothers need to take care of themselves on so many levels as well as their babies. And then also to respect the baby as their own being. And for me, like, again, in my practice, I feel like people don't know that I'm a dance movement therapist necessarily when they come to see me. Some people do, but most people don't. And so I feel like I'm offering a spectrum of exploring in therapy from verbal, the regular sitting in a chair and couch kind of psychotherapy to nonverbal, which would be just observing the babies or copying the baby's movement. We do that or dancing with the babies, you know. Um, and I feel like it's always the lens that I am with somebody else is in my body and um, being curious about that.